Yeah. Man, your videos please. would have sucked with toy guns. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, we did some paintball videos. Those were fun. I, I watched one of my paintball videos. The other Today day, we so are going to turn this fridge lime green. <laughs> From 46 feet away. <laughs> wow, the, uh, isn't this great content? <laughs> but there was a bunch of times when I would be the guy there that was responsible for a bunch of guns and a bunch of bullets. And there would be at least three or four people there that are here to shoot them and have never shot a gun before. And like, that's, I've never done anything like that before. I don't have any range safety training. I never really been to many ranges before that had rules. I've been shooting in a field my whole life. Yeah. So that was fun to kind of learn on the fly to try to keep everybody safe and try to get that shit like filmed and everything. Cause I don't, I can't remember if Hex had ever even shot a gun. And I, I was like counting on some of them to be like, I don't know. I thought about the Hex. I'm like, yeah, he's from Chicago. He's he's like, <laughs> dude's probably been he's checking probably all been like rat a tat tat in his whole life or something. Mm -hmm. Like like I didn't know what everybody's like level. It's I knew wild, that little wild there was assumptions. That, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know that classic like, where I'm from, Hispanic every gun stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. I mean, he's like marksman. I think of him as like a a manly man, like a dude's yeah. dude. Like like he he no right, pussy right. or anything. So like if you're if you're that kind of guy and you live here, like. Yeah, you've got a shotgun in your truck, probably. What kind do you have? Is it a Benelli? Like, you know, like, I don't know. I just kind of, was, yeah. nobody had shotguns before, I don't think. Nobody had ever shot a fucking gun. And it was, it was so fucking fun. That was one of the most fun things I've ever done. Like, I don't think a lot of people watched that. And I loved it because I, I wasn't getting paid for views. I was getting paid to like produce this thing for them. So I didn't care if anybody watched it. It was just episode was after fun. episode where it was so much fun to do that shit. That was so fun. I'm FES Russia, and this is Sharpshooter. Welcome to the controller, Medal of Honor Warfighter. It was, um, I've told it before, and it's mean to even say, but whatever. But, but like, the, the, the one guy who was known for sniping was, like, really struggling with the sniper part of the competition. My name is Tommy Oliveira. My gamer tag is Face Temper, and I'm the leader and the owner of Face Clan on YouTube. And it was, <laughs> he was on the verge of tears. He was just like, <laughs> you don't understand. This shit's not going to play. <laughs> this shit's <Dude>. not going <laughs> to My breathing was off, so it was harder to aim. I started getting nervous, and that's when things just started going wrong. I know he'll do better. We're not gonna let this obstacle get us down. It's all about coming out on top. Because on the internet, this is the guy. This yeah. is the guy who he quick guy who invented, yeah. he invented phase plan. For him. Oh, the competition? No. Oh, the, I don't know. I don't think anybody out, he couldn't shoot. Nobody look, we I'm it got edited so nobody looked like a fool or anything. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? Like, like like I'm I when somebody misses something 20 times a row in a row and we gotta give them a new magazine, we just throw that away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that didn't happen you know but did you like, ever do something where like they couldn't hit it so you got a shot of them shooting and you were like give me the give me the fucking gun ping and like <laughs> then, no. then you like put that cut in no because like like i was in charge of designing all of the shots too this is called the controller by the way if anybody wants to watch it on youtube again don't give a shit if you do or not it's but it's called the controller um, Medal of Honor Warfighter. God, they made me say that so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Medal of Honor Advanced Warfighter. <laughs> oh, over and over, I had to say that shit. Every segment that began with those fucking words. But I set up sec I set up games, if you will, or competitions where everybody was going to make something blow up eventually. It was really a matter of how long it took you to make the thing blow up. But everybody mm -hmm. blew something up. It was just it was really about how who could do it fastest. <laughs> this is so like i've never seen this video I and yeah either. it's on Optic and i watched Gaming. a ton of fps russia back in the so day. if you see weird. um um all of that anytime a gun goes off those are real bullets i'll just say that you maybe you'll get to some parts where you think you think no that wasn't real was it um because like for some reason they made 
and we filmed them all in a row. I think I was changing <laughs> yeah. shirts, maybe even. But but it's like to be, to end every segment or maybe to begin them, they're like punctuated with me shooting a gun comically to like start the race. And and every time it's like a bigger, more ridiculous handgun. On your marks, get set. Now I had fun bro, making that, bro. Opening this video to a machinima logo is yeah. like a PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, the good guys. The good now, guys. And the, the whole concept was that those special forces guys were going to kind of coach the nerds or the gamers or whatever up to be shooters and vice versa. Because then they, they had to go back to L.A. and film the second half of this shit. And that's all like in a studio with them playing video games. And they were begging me to go out to L.A. and help them fix that. They were like, so we, we have a lot of great footage of you guys blowing things up in the fields. And that's great. That was only supposed to be 50% of the show, though. Like, the, <laughs> it's supposed to be equally compelling when they go play video games in a studio and then they get into editing and it's like, this isn't working. And I played hardball, I think. And I was like, I'm not coming unless you pay me an ungodly amount of money. <laughs> and, and they wouldn't pay. And I didn't care, though. I had other work I was doing, but I wouldn't go without them. Like, Kyle, Kyle you, you said that, like, the editing was gracious to these guys. It was not gracious to me. <laughs> no, I didn't say it was gracious. I'm, I, oh, oh, it wasn't. They look, they look bad. What go to okay. So if you go to the video on Optic Gaming at one twenty eight and watch this guy shoot the M fourteen, he almost. Oh. I think he audibly screams when he fires it. Does that he have was a shaved so head? Bad. No, it's it's. Uh, he looks like he's nineteen years. I don't want to clown on whoever. This yeah, is it's okay. Is. You know, look, look, like like I said, none of those guys had shotguns before. And right, I right. Gave, yes, I, absolutely. One of them, I, I think I gave a couple of them like really quick training courses, but it amounted to a safety class. It was most eighty percent of what I told them was what to do when you put the gun down. <laughs> like, like, right, like, right and, fair, fair. It's like you know, not to point it over here, not to point it over there. Like, yeah, no matter what happens, like it's just some basic shit that keeps us all alive. You know, because they've got those real guns. They, those kids shoot AA-12s at one point. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Are you serious? I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I don't mean to be watching a video during the podcast. No, no, yeah, we, we should probably move along. But I just yeah, yeah, remember it popped sorry. up. I just remembered how fun that yeah, was and, yeah. and how awful it was at the same time.